a bomb and a bomb or any dance of means. I was a wee bit weary approaching a bomb and a bomb. I liked his other books, Drood and The Fifth Heart in particular, but I felt both were, were bogged down by too much detail and judging by the reviews I've seen of bomb and getting tired by much of the same brush. I uh, need have worried. There's plenty of detail here, especially climbing gear and clothing and, and the acts of climbing itself. But it seems to serve the story better uh, than in the other books. And where Drood especially felt claustrophobic and dense, a bomb is much more expansive and, and it's open and gives a real feel of the joy of being on top of the world and the freedom that can be felt in the high places. But as for me, I hate heights. It made me go weak at the knees, and, and just reading some of the scenes in this book had the same effect. It's a testament to his way with a description. His prose is as excellent as ever. The narrator, Jake, feels fully formed and alive, and it's a tale of daring do on the, the world's highest peak. But it's also about friendship and adversity and, and getting over obstacles. There's, there's much in the later bits of this book that reminds me of some of Alison McLean's adventures in, in the snowy landscapes of Black Hike Station Zebra or Where Eagles Dare. And it takes twists and turns like those books that I wasn't expecting. The title of the book's a bit of a misnomer. Uh, expectations of snowmen are, are definitely a red herring. But that doesn't detract from the story. It's a hefty book, but it doesn't really seem like it. And I thoroughly enjoyed his return to the cold landscapes he did so wonderfully in the terror. It's all in all, it's quality stuff, and I recommend it. Thanks for listening, and we'll speak again.